I had no idea the drugs in the ampules were made from human brains. So, you found out. I heard a researcher. She said that Yuito and his team saw the heads. Calm down, Naomi. I can't do this anymore. If I had known it came from human brains, I would have told them no. It's a cruel reality. But without these drugs, it wouldn't be possible to talk with you like this. Yes, I know. But brains? <laughs> that makes me no different <laughs> from the others. That's not true. You're still you. <laughs> To be honest, this is too much for me. I can't do it. I don't want to live if it means other people have to die. Wait, I'll find a way to turn you back, so please don't give up. I'm sorry. Please, I need to be alone. Naomi. You undisciplined rats. I know you can hear me. Get out of Naomi's room now. Major General Karin, you're here at the facility? I'll tell you about the research they do here. Now get out of there so Naomi can calm down. Let's go. I'll be back, Naomi. I'm sorry, Kasane. So, Seiron isn't as unified as I had thought. First, I think you owe us rats an apology for stringing us along through all this. Who owes who now? Huh? I don't care about an apology. Have you found a way to turn Naomi back? If she stays here, she's... Not yet. I'll keep Naomi's psychological well-being in mind, but this facility is the best chance she has. Even if we manage to pacify Naomi, she'll have to continue taking the ampules. He'll be able to do it. Why is Seiron conducting research like this? What are they planning on doing to others using human brains? I suppose I should tell you what Seiron and Suo's true motives are. It all comes down to how each city views others and the Extinction Belt. The Extinction Belt? Suo wants to eliminate the Extinction Belt to stop the others. While Seiron believes they need the Extinction Belt. The differing views of the Extinction Belt is the root of Suo and Seiron's conflict. I might not agree with their methods, but I can understand Suo's position. Seiron, on the other hand. Why do they think the Extinction Belt is necessary? That's where the others come from. Seiron is pursuing their counter-other research while avoiding the elimination of the Extinction Belt. Kagero, what do you think would happen if the Extinction Belt disappeared? Um, no idea. Why are you asking me? Never mind. In any case, I don't care about what either side wants. More importantly, Kasane. W what What you did here was reckless. I only did what I could for Naomi. Seiron's threats aren't just a bargaining strategy. Watch what you leak to Yuito, and be careful you don't do anything that would put Naomi in danger. <sighs> <sighs> That's all for now. No, we're not done here. We still have questions. Remember your roles. That will help Naomi more than anything. He looked like he was in a hurry. I wonder if something happened. It's painstakingly obvious that Karin is still hiding information from us. Listen, we've just been through a lot. I think we should go back to the hideout and get some rest. Yes. Hold on, Naomi. I promise I'm going to save you. Welcome back, everyone. You've come here as well. I was afraid I might run into that government official if I went back to headquarters. 
I'm sorry. Forcing the guy's hand by threatening to put him on the record must have put you in an awkward position. His face was beet red. It was hilarious. If I saw him in person, I would have laughed right in his face. Oh, I would have loved to see that. That bastard totally deserves it. I can't leave Naomi there. I have to hurry and find a way to turn her back. Can I really rely on Karin? You don't look so well. Hey, you better not be thinking about running off on your own to save the day again. No, don't worry. I'm not. Karin mentioned that my power was connected in some way to saving my sister. He did mention that, didn't he? Sure didn't make an effort or even care to explain himself, though. I thought with everything that happened at the other research facility, Naomi would be protected if I asked him. But now, I'm not so sure. There's still so much I don't know. That's true. But to be honest, we barely know anything about the others. That laboratory holding Naomi has the most advanced research on them. So, there's something I've been wondering about that place. You know that truck that you escorted? Wasn't it from Togetsu? Yes. While there were no records, judging from its route, there's no mistake it came from Togetsu. Considering the cargo it was carrying, I feel like Togetsu must be connected to the other research somehow. <laughs> You're kidding, right? Togetsu is not that kind of place. All right. You're from there and you follow their faith. It's a religious community that worships the moon. I've never even heard them say anything about others. But with all that cargo they're providing, they must be connected in some way or another. Togetsu has a long history, and managed to establish a different culture from Suo or Seiron. That alone sets it apart. I think it's safe to assume that they have information that would prove useful to us. I've never actually considered Togetsu before, but you might be onto something, given the situation. We might find a clue there that will help Naomi. You're really going there? You won't find much. I can honestly say I don't know of any place less exciting. What do you want to do? Let's go to Togetsu. For real? Weren't you even listening? Karin told us not to do anything that had upset Seiron. But I don't fully trust him. If we don't know what he knows or what he's hiding, then we don't have a choice. Then what about Naomi? It might not be a bluff next time. Haruka, I have a favor to ask. I'll keep an eye on Seiron and the research facility, and contact you if there's any change. Thank you. I owe you one. Well, let's get ready to go to Togetsu. Oh boy, I don't like the way this is going. Should I talk to Shiden? Hey, Kagero. What debt was Major General Karin talking about? I don't know. Maybe he was mistaken, or he was bluffing. I see. I'm sorry to keep bothering you like this. You're not bothering me. I'm just wondering if I can really offer you anything. I mean, you're a Septentrion, and I feel like you're far more capable. That's due to my title. Nobody will tell me their honest opinion thanks to my perceived status. Hmm, huh, really? That's how people generally are. To that point, I feel like you are someone who doesn't care about titles or status, and would speak her mind. When we fought the other day, I thought your instincts were excellent. That's why I wanted to hear your opinions about the way I fight. Okay, if that's what you want, I'll be honest with you. Yes, if you would be so kind. Why do you even use a hammer as a weapon in the first place? You have a small frame, and you don't look like you have enough muscle. Wouldn't it be more effective to use something smaller and lighter that fits your physique, like a knife? I see. Thank you for your input. 
But I think you've overlooked a crucial fact. What do you mean? I agree that a hammer is a big and heavy weapon that doesn't seem to match my frame. But my power is teleportation. I can close the gap the instant I swing, or move on top of an enemy's head to let gravity do most of the work. In other words, I chose the hammer because it was the best weapon that takes advantage of my power. It can also intimidate opponents with its powerful image, and it even offers a good workout when I lift it. I see. Oh, sorry. I got carried away there. I shouldn't argue when I was the one who asked you to give me your honest opinion. No, I was just impressed that you found a fighting style that matches your power. But if you've established your style to this degree, there's not much point in asking for anyone's opinion. You might be right, but I feel like I'm lacking something. Are you unsatisfied with your current level of strength? I'd say this is more about eliminating my weakness than wanting to become stronger. As you already pointed out, I have a small frame. And while I work out every day, I don't have enough muscles. My current fighting style compensates for these facts, but it also relies too much on my power. I think children of the state like us all rely on our powers in a fight more or less. That may be true, but think about what would happen if you could not use your power at all. You would have no choice but to rely on your physical strength, but I would be mostly useless the way I am. Not be able to use your power? I suppose that happening is a possibility, but that's a pretty limited situation. Well, you never know what could happen on the battlefield. You have to be prepared for anything. Really? I think it's a waste of time to worry about outliers. You have a point. I could be worrying a little too much. It could be because you don't believe in your own strength. Huh? I don't think there's any problem with the way you fight. If anything, I would say it's psychological. In other words, a lack of confidence. <laughs> How surprising. My brother said something similar to me in the past. He told me I was held captive by my own weakness. That does seem like my biggest problem. You really are perceptive. I was right to come to you. Was anything I said helpful? Yes. This has been very beneficial to me. You don't hold back when we talk. So I find myself wanting to talk about things I normally wouldn't. That helps me be more open with my feelings, so I can relax. May we talk again sometime? Sure, if you're okay with me just talking like I normally do. Of course. I'd prefer that. What you consider normal feels fresh and new to me. What? You and your brother are both so strange. It seems like he's satisfied, though. So I guess this was okay. Oh, Kasane, would you like to talk about gardening? Sure, if you don't mind. This is more than just herbs. Yes. I like growing plants because it's fun hearing their different voices. You don't literally mean a plant's voice, right? No, because plants can't speak. That's why the person who's growing them needs to imagine what they're saying. Over here. Follow me. I'll show you what I mean. She's rather assertive when it comes to plants. Looking at the flower beds in cities like this, you can tell how they've grown and what condition they're in. This flower may look like it's growing healthy, but if you look carefully, you can see the bottom leaves are changing colors. It's sick. However, the branches and roots are fine, so I think it will recover if you snip off the sick leaves and give it medicine. Oh, these are all healthy, but there is a lot of water building up here, which could cause the roots to decay. You should exchange the soil for some with better water drainage. Oh. I'm sorry, I was blabbering again. No, I'm impressed. Not only are you knowledgeable, 
You're perceptive enough to notice so much from their appearance. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not just from their appearance. I'm using my clairvoyance to see below the dirt. I can tell everything you normally can't see, from the condition of the roots to the quality of the soil. So it's kind of like cheating. Well, I don't think I would call that cheating. You're just putting your power to use. Besides, your knowledge and gardening experience determine the condition of the plant, not your power. Thank you. Oh, and of course you can garden without clairvoyance. I felt the same back during the military exercises, but the ability to scout anywhere makes her power an important asset. On top of that, she understands her power and has learned to use it well. She would be an outstanding team member. Kasane? What's wrong? Tsugumi, would you come with me? Huh? What do you mean? I mean just that. I want you to come to Seiron and fight alongside me. No. Well, it's not just for me. And I know this is a bit unfair for me to say, but I need your help for Naomi, too. I'm sorry about Naomi, but I already decided I would fight with Yuito. Even if it means having to fight me? Yes. When that time comes, I won't lose. All right. If that's how you feel, I'll give up on trying to recruit you. However, please don't expect me to go easy on you either. That's okay. We'll still win. <laughs> oh, look. What is it? The inside of this tree is mostly rotten. It's been infected by a fungus that's consumed it from the trunk to its roots. You can't save it? It's too far gone. If we leave it, the wind might blow it over. In that case, I think it's best if we dispose of it now. I can use my psychokinesis to uproot it. Don't say it like that. It could lead to an accident if it suddenly fell over. The tree is dying anyway. We should deal with it. This tree is alive, too. It's been sick and suffering, half dead. And you're talking about it like it's garbage. You're right. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be so insensitive. Uh, I'm sorry too. I know you're right. It's already too late, and our only option is to cut it down. But that's why we need to care. This tree has watched over everyone its whole life. I think it's important for us to show it the proper respect to the end. Yes. Thank you for understanding. Oh, also that shrubbery over there. She has more depth than I thought. She's quiet, but she doesn't just do what she's told. She has a hidden strength. How strange. I feel like we would really get along. Kasane, are you listening? I'd like for you to pay attention here. Don't worry, I'm listening. You can talk as much as you want. Someone important to Major General Karin metamorphosed, too. That's what you told Yuito. Yuito said a name. What was it? Well, it's a bit of a sensitive topic, to say the least. Sorry, but can we talk about it later? I'll talk if necessary, but I don't feel like it right now. Seiron are both hiding something. 
Karin's true motives are still a mystery. I wonder what he's after. All we can do is keep moving and watch them. Man, this is going to be such a pain. All right. Everything seems to be in order. Are you using a battle mask now? That's a good idea. No, I don't plan on using it yet. Really? It looks brand new. Captain Seto left this for me. Oh, he did? I guess they found it when they went through his belongings. And it finally made its way to me. I see. That's nice. Yeah. But when I look at this, I can feel how much expectation he had for me. I'm not worthy of this mask yet. I'll use it once I'm stronger. Don't you think he wanted you to use it right away? You say you want to wait until you're stronger, but do you even have a concrete goal? Well, when I'm as strong as him... How many years will that take? It's not going to take years. I'll be as strong as him real soon. When I was a rookie, Captain Seto would always encourage me, telling me I could succeed. I want to live up to his expectations. If I don't, then I have no right putting on this mask. He cared about Captain Seto. I heard that someone found his fountain pen. Was that you? What if it was? I thought so. Thank you for that. You don't need to thank me. I just didn't want his belongings discarded on the street. I know exactly how you feel, but why did you let me have it? Because you needed that pen more than I did. I saw the way you looked at him. I know you admired him. What? Wait, don't tell me you didn't even realize it. How did you know? It's pretty obvious. I looked up to him too, but I'm pretty sure we had different types of feelings for him. Different how? Figure it out yourself. They're your feelings. Ugh. I've never given my feelings for Captain Seto any thought. Anyway, I let you have that fountain pen. I swear, if you don't take good care of it, I'm coming after you. I'll treasure it. Thank you again. You've done a lot to help me. Where's all this coming from? Listen, don't get the wrong idea about me. Things can come to light even after a long time passes. I have Sheedan to thank for making me realize that. If platoon morale drops, it affects me too. So, it's not like I was doing it for you. Oh, I'm sorry. Could you say that again? I was a little lost in my own thoughts. <laughs> like I say it again! Damn it! Besides, I bet he would have done the same thing with the fountain pen. Really? I know he must have cared about you too. He was a really good person. He was a great mentor admired by everyone. And someone who meant more than anything to me. I no longer have anyone that recognizes my abilities. But I'll continue working hard to someday reach his level. If your goal is to be like him, why don't you work on your people skills too? I'd much rather use that time to work on my abilities. People will naturally come to me as long as I'm irrefutably strong. Then that means you're not strong enough to have people follow you now. What's wrong with that? I know I'm nowhere near him. It's good that you know where you stand. I suppose you're planning to work hard in order to reach his status. Yeah. Things can't stay this way. You just wait. I'm looking forward to it. Just looking at you makes me angry. I don't remember doing anything to you. I'm not saying you did something wrong. I'm mad at myself for being overtaken by someone like you. Watch out. I'm not the kind of person who gives up so easily. You're someone I can rely on in battle. You know, your personality aside and all. Is that supposed to be a compliment? I'll return the same. Hmm. 
Cool. There's a rumor lately that I've been using my power to spy on people. I would never do that, you know? I mean, I can't say I haven't thought about it. Do I look desperate enough to spy on people? It's because you're always so thoughtless, but I know you're not like that. Oh? Thanks. That's my Kasane. I like that you're always so cool-headed. to get closer to me? Aw, oh, shucks. <sighs> I guess I would like to understand you better. Kasane. What's wrong? I'm sorry, hold on. I'm getting another headache. Okay, it's gone now. You still don't look well. Maybe you should rest. No, I need to clean the hideout soon. I can't cause trouble for- <clears throat> We'll feel a lot better if you rest instead of pushing yourself in this state. Please, Kyoka. Okay, I'll rest for a little bit then. Here, drink one of my special nutrition drinks. Don't worry, it hasn't expired. I didn't join the OSF to take care of someone else. I'll leave the wrong towels here. I'm sorry, I don't mean to worry you. It's not so bad being looked after. Just rest up for now. We don't want our nice hideout getting cleaned up by Kyoka anyway. Wow, look how popular she is. She got the lazy Arashi and the sour little Shiden to get off their butts and help. Why don't you do something too, Kagero? What? Can't you tell, Kasane? I'm lovingly watching over everyone for her. Anyway, we should leave her alone so she can actually get some rest. How are you feeling, Kyoka? Brainwaves are stable. Pulse is also at normal level. No issues to report. Kyoka? Was that... Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. It looks like the old me came out again. She seems to pop out when I'm tired or concentrating on something. What does it feel like to suddenly be someone else? Well, it's not like I'm particularly conscious of it. But there's no clear distinction it's a different person from me. To be honest, I don't even know which is the real me. That must be tough. I mean, if you can't tell anyway, why don't you just choose the one you'd rather be? That's a good point. Thank you. You're right. I wish I had a choice. Hmm? Well, I feel so much better thanks to you. Are you sure you're okay? You don't need to try to support everyone by yourself anymore. You can come to us for help sometimes. I appreciate your concern, but I'm really okay now. Besides, I'm dying to clean. I have to scrub every inch to make up for lost time. Oh, I know. I'll cook for everyone to thank them. She really does seem like she's doing better. Maybe I'll go do some training. What happened here? 
I was only gone for a minute. <clears throat> Kasane... it's Kyoka. What about her? She did a clean sweep. This is the end for me. You have to... stop her. Clean sweep? It looks like a tornado went through here. Shiden? What happened to you? K Kyoka said she cooked something for us. And when I took a bite, my whole body went numb. <gasps> Damn it! I should have known from the way it looked. No! Wake up, Shiden! Ah, <laughs> uh, doing housework feels so good. Oh, Kasane! Do you even recognize the room anymore? I've also made cookies. Feel free to have some. Um, I'll pass. Oh, you're not hungry? That's not good. I can make you some porridge then. <laughs> I have to make sure she never does housework around here ever again. It might be bad for her health, and it's definitely bad for ours. We've been together for a while, Kasane. Ever since you were a cadet. And your growth still surprises me. It does? I haven't noticed any changes in myself. You've become a great soldier. I hope I can keep watching you get better. You've opened up to me more. That makes me so happy. It might sound like I'm exaggerating a little but it really is easy to talk to you. This is nice. We can leave after we get a little rest. Hey, Kasane. Are we positively, absolutely going to Togetsu? Of course we are. At the very least, we should be able to learn something about the cargo sent to the research facility. I understand that you have bad memories of that place. This time, we can make good memories of it. Or is there some other reason you don't want to go to Togetsu? If that's the case, nobody would blame you for staying behind. Do you want to stay behind with me? Ugh, fine. Just don't blame me if it sucks. I did warn you. We're prepared for the consequences. Kagero, show us the way. Yes, ma'am. I know they said it would be cold, but this is freezing. I heard that it snows all year round in some areas. Don't catch your death out there. <sighs> At least there's a road. What the hell do you think Togetsu is thinking building a city in a place like this? It's cold, it sucks, and it's a pain in the ass. I haven't even been this far on assignment before. Who's down for turning back? Everyone? Great. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Enough of that. We already decided we're going, so stop complaining. I think you're going to regret it. You seem awfully opposed to this. Are you hiding something about Togetsu from us? Not at all. You know, maybe I'm imagining it, but it seems like you're pretty eager to get us all there. 
It's something we all decided, didn't we, Kasane? Yes, and you agreed in the end. I wouldn't call that agreeing. <sighs> Can't win them all, I guess. In any case, we need information, and that requires us to go to Togetsu. Now stop complaining. It's freezing. And no more mentioning the cold. Two peas in a pod. Good. We managed to break it. We'll be able to go forward now. It's up to you. I'm taking this. Electricity. You'll be shocked and unable to move if it hits you. Go, Kasane! Useless. We did it, Kasane! I don't think I can lose when I'm with you. Got it! Check me. That was a nice move. It's over. That was a nice move. If you're 
body catches fire, it's gonna keep hurting you. Be careful. Keep your guard. Took all the good shots, Kasane. Time for stealth. Using the shield. Huh? They did. Useless. Check me. Initiative, and you win. I'm taking this. <laughs> I'll do it. It's over. Enemy is done. Well done, Kasane. Keep that up. I'll support you. Let's use our hyper velocity. Checkmate. And this strike. I'm taking this. Leave it to me. Got it. It's over. I'm rooting for you. Using the Sheeta. I'll do it. Go. to break it. We'll be able to go forward now. Help me, Kagura. It's coming down! Leave it to me. Focus. All right. It's working. Focus on that spot. Time for stealth. Show me what you got. Kasane, the enemy is stunned and can't move. I'll do it. I can't waste time. Kasane, it's time to do this. Take him. <laughs> My head feels clear. Gatsu believe. Leave the world behind and live for the teachings. I love the world, though. I'm rooting for you! Time for stealth. I'll support you. Okay, the enemy has lost us. Check me. Ooh, nice job! I'm taking this. The end. Got it. The enemy is stunned. Now's the time. Nice job, Kasane.
one for you. Using the Sheeta. Useless. Check me. Time for stealth. like pillars or statues what are they you see them a lot in snowy areas where others are no one knows how they're formed yet though 
mystery of the frozen wasteland. It's not surprising. It's so cool I can't think. 